Hey, morning sports bettors. How we doing? Matt Moda here with Odds Jam. We got four NBA games going on today, so let's hammer some NBA bets. I, only having four meaning means we have a little bit of a smaller slate, but luckily, using Odds Jam, we can still find valuable bets to place. Like this first one here, we can get right into it. Houston Rockets plus three against the Oklahoma City Thunder. The bet is at minus 107. At points bet, the no big odds price this to be just below minus 115, uh, minus 114.89. Only 14 juice uh, cents of market width, which is really good. Although the odds just changed, so now it's only uh, has to be minus 114 at Bet Rivers, which is still a positive expected value play. So I am still going to count this one towards my place today. Just lock this in at Bet Rivers at minus 114. The fact that it already changed shows me that this is a profitable bet. So if you can get this bet Rivers one, I do think that it will end up beating the closing line even more than what the Novig odds say. But the Novig odds price is at about minus 115. This bet being at minus 114, positive expected value bet. And then look across the board where every other book prices Rockets plus three. Pinnacle, sharpest sports book in the world, minus 127. Fox bet prices it at minus 138. Winbit minus 130, DraftKings minus 130, Betfred minus 125. And then, and then if we open the event page in a new tab, we will see that we're getting plus three at minus, where is that? Plus three at minus one, looks like it's minus 115 now at Bet Rivers. Look at where every other book prices it. Most books have it at plus two and a half, like uh, BetMGM, Betfred, PointsBet now changed it to two and a half, Caesars. DraftKings, and they favor the Rockets at plus two and a half. Win bet, Tipico. Uh, Bookmaker, and this one's really important because Bookmaker is a very, this column right here. Bookmaker is a very sharp sports book that, um, that does a good job at pricing odds. So we kind of use them to set the market. Most books have it at two and a half or two. We got it at a pretty good price at minus 114 at Bet Rivers. So I'm going to keep this as my first pick of today. Rockets plus three. The next one that I was going to lock in if the odds still stand, which they do, is the Lakers team total under 116 and a half. So this is at minus 106 on FanDuel. The Novig odds that Ajim calculates prices this to be at about minus 109, just, just below or just above minus 109. Um, and again, look across the board where all these other sports books price it. We got it at FanDuel at minus 106, Pinnacle minus 122. Fox bet, minus 133. Caesars, minus 120. Points bet, minus 120. You open this one up in a new tab, and we will see that other sports books price this either at 116 or 115 and a half, lower than what we got it at, at 116 and a half. Now, I know the Spurs have a bad defense, but the Lakers are on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. The Lakers offense is still one of the worst in the NBA, so I like this one a lot. Um, the, minus, the Lakers, minus 106. Lakers, under team total. 116 minus 106 odds at FanDuel as my second pick. And the third one, that is not going to be the third one. So let me go ahead and give this page a refresh, make sure I'm getting the most up-to-date odds here. Because as you can see, the odds can change very quickly. Um, the next play that I was going to lock in, so it looks like a lot of the odds did change on me, was the under. So I'm taking the team total and the under uh, for the Lakers in this Lakers Spurs game. I also like the full game under as well. Minus 110 at FanDuel. Pretty much across the board, minus 125, minus 125, minus 125, minus 130, minus 120, minus 115. The only one that's closer, minus 115, minus 133, minus 136. Um, Lakers, Spurs, under 230 and a half, minus 110 at FanDuel. And then again, if you open this one up in a new tab, so we're getting the under 230 and a half. Look at where all the other sports books price it. 230, 229 and a half, 229. Uh, two sharp books we have, Bookmaker and Bet Online, prices at 230. And Bet Online actually favors the under at 230, which is a half point lower than what we got it at. Looks like Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest sports book in the world, has this priced at about 229, so a full point and a half lower than what we got it at. And they favor the under. At this number, at 229, they favor the under. So a really, really good play here. Under 230 and a half, minus 110 at FanDuel as my third betting pick, NBA betting pick for today. 
And the last one that I was going to lock in here, let me give this page a refresh. Looks like the odds changed on that. It was a player prop, but looks like the odds changed on that as well. But you can still get this thunder in, uh, but no, you can't, odds just change. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it here with these three NBA betting picks for today. So if you're tailing any of the three, comment and let me know. But that's all I got. So I do appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.